What is going on Collectors Optical 20 back for another video review. Today we're going to take a look at James Dean and a uh, packaged with his horse uh, from the movie Giant from Star Ace. And you can uh, pre-order this figure at BigBadToyStore.com or go directly to Star Ace website. I'll put both the links down below. Uh, it's a huge massive box man because there is a horse as well and the horse takes up a massive space as you can see here it's two boxes they also sell the horse separately for like 105 i believe so i mean honestly for 105 i think that's a great value because there's third-party horses uh that you know is that even a thing a third-party horse but there's uh like third-party companies that are making horse for like a 140 to 150 and this is 105 from star ace who you know manufactures first party figures so i think it's a great value and uh, you know you can it, it, you can never go wrong with a one sixth horse, you know, or any any animal for that matter, especially for the price. I and look at the packaging right here; it's uh, made out of foam, so it has some weight to it, you know, as far as the horse is concerned. I'm just gonna unbox this horse, uh, James Dean. You've seen a figure unboxed for the most part, um, but this is uh, the first time for me to, uh, getting a horse. I've been I've been on a lookout because I have figures. Who would benefit from you know having a horse john wick uh leonidas you know and, and figures like that so i mean Leonidas, did he really ride a horse probably not but whatever man it, it still looks good but as you can see here it's it uh, has that dx feel to it it has that that foam packaging around it so you know your horse is going to come in secured and when i open this man it's it's big it's a big guy it's it's not as tall as i thought it would be you know but it's a horse but it gets the job done it's more of a statue more than a figure because it doesn't have any articulation um i don't know why you would need an articulation for a horse though but it has a saddle which you don't have to maneuver around it's already in there so you know that's pretty cool it's it's basically you get this and you're good to go you know you just put a figure in top of the horse or you know put him right next to the horse i i love it man i uh, like i said i would buy i have a like a dog now i got a horse I just need a cow you know and uh, i'll be I'll, I'll have a farm and there you go look at the paint application here i think it's beautiful uh the saddle is made out of this uh leather material it has um kind of like a white mat right next to it i guess not to damage the paint um it has that, you know, where you put your shoe in, which works well for uh, uh, James Dean. Uh, not for Leonidas, I tried it. You know, his sandals wouldn't fit in. But as far as the pit, man, this horse is amazing. Now, that makes you wonder about the upcoming, you know, blur. Because this is 105. It's like three times more. I don't know if that's three times better. Because the application here, the paint apps, is beautiful. I, I tell you that right off the bat. You guys need this horse. You know, like you might not get the package. You don't have to get the package if you if you don't feel like uh, uh, getting James Dean. But the horse, the horse, I think, is a must have for any collector. You, you, you know, you, it's it's a good complimentary piece as well. Let's say you, you're into Western. You, it reminds you of uh, Red Dead Redemption or not even that. If you're into like different figures, Lord of the Rings or something, something in the past. Like, like I said, even John Wick. You know, those are those are excellent pieces to complement, you know, with a horse as well. So, but like I said here, it's it can stand well on its own, very sturdy, has some weight to it. Uh, the saddle, again, it's there. You don't have to, you know, fiddle around with it, you know, just to make sure that it fits. Because I know there's like a third party I watched. Um, I didn't watch a review, but I heard uh, from Zach that he does have, you know, like the saddles, a frustrating part, I guess. There's another company who makes these horses, but they're more expensive at $140. Uh, this is $105. And from Star Ace, you can get it at Big Bad. I believe it's... I'll put both the links down below. Uh, it's $105 and they got $4 shipping. So all in all, it's going to be $109, which is not a bad deal at all. And you can see the muscles on his uh, legs in there. You can even see the ribs of the horse. Uh, it's rooted hair that you know with with the top part and his tail so it's, it's really nice right there and and uh i you know this is the highlight for me as far as james dean he's no pushover as well um i tell you what i haven't seen the movie we'll never see the movie i think this movie was released back in 1955 
Um, as far as accessories, he comes with a lot here. Uh, this glasses reminded me of uh, Myla right away because she loves like kit bashing Superman, and I thought it would be perfect for that. Um, got some watch. There's some like this is what I give props to Star Ace. They gave you like accessories that you would never think of. This Winston cigarette, it has a hole on the top so you can actually put the cigarette in. You know, like these guys, you can interchange it with other figures, you know, like, I mean, it's a cigarette. Um, it, does, it does resemble the uh, cigarette from Pulp Fiction with a different coating, you know, with a different label, but that's fine, you know. And then you got a watch here. I always love watches because, not because I love watches, it's because they hide the joints, they hide the... Uh, um, the peg from the wrist that makes it more a little bit more realistic and that is made out of like a stretchy material So that is beautiful uh, You also got this uh, This comb which I haven't seen a 1-6 comb ever uh, You got some rope you got that that handgun and you got this rifle Which it doesn't come with any articulation But you can see here if the camera focuses that the uh, there's like wood grain in it, which is really beautiful that nicely painted it's not real wood it's all plastic nothing here is die cast or anything but it's just nicely done um, you don't really need to you know to for it to be die cast and most guns are not die cast anyway so but yeah as far as um you know like the the overall look here it is nice if the camera just cooperates with me and you got the one six cowboy hat as well there is a plastic inside so you don't you're not gonna mess up you know the form of the hat um, and then the good old base of um, one six scale. You got James Dean with his signature there, and also at the bottom of the base here, you got the James Dean. So it, it is nice, you know. Like every once in a while, I like this oval base because they do help with the um, spacing of the figure. They don't take up too much space. Now, as far as the tailoring for the figure itself, it looks great. I've seen reviews. I've seen specifically review for review spot when he reviewed this figure that it doesn't look like he has a neck. Um, and I was just like, what is going on there? Why does he look like he doesn't have a neck? But you'll, you'll see in here, if you make some adjustments to the outfit and to the neck itself, that wouldn't be the case. But that is magnetic, his vest. So it just snaps on and off, which is I really like. Uh, there's a lot of things to like in here. You know, like the outfit itself is, I think it's pretty solid. It's pretty good. Jeans, nicely tailored. Uh, the hands, as I showed you earlier, every hand has a purpose. Uh, you can see there's a spur in there and you know his boots it's actually a boot like it's all the way up you know i can the pants are nice and you know nicely tapered sitting on top of the boots you know i'm not going to show it all of you all the way to the top but it does you know come all the way up there the the uh downside to that is it doesn't have any ankle articulation that is because it's one piece boot and because of that heel um it doesn't stand nicely by itself so you always need a base but the good thing is that's why it comes with a base and for the most part to be quite honest with you i all my figures uh, are in a base so i got kids at home you never know what's gonna happen all it takes is one ball if you have a pet at home which i do as well uh they you know kind of lean over your um stand or your detail for whatever they come crashing down and you know scratch the paint on the nose basis is always a must have for me so you know and there you go you can see again the the, the jeans is nicely tailored uh maybe the boots could have used a little weathering that's the only thing i could I, I could add to this because it looks way too clean and way too bright but then again i haven't seen the movie so maybe it is clean on the movie even the movie i think is black and white anyway so it's it's in the 1955 so here's james dean for for everyone who doesn't know i personally haven't seen any of his movies but i know who he is and here's the figure you know it, i think it, it resembles him i i got a wrong angle you know like the he's kind of looking up but that's how he wears his hat by the way as well he doesn't wear it all the way uh james dean died pretty young you know he's one of those tragic stories in hollywood for those who are pure, I don't know if Will Foxification even knows this guy. You know, I know he reviews movies and he's one of, he's in line with the Marilyn Monroe's and all that stuff. So I, you know, I I was kind of tempted to watch the movie because he only made a handful of movie. There's another version of James Dean, by the way, uh, where he's wearing the red jacket, uh, Rebel Without a Cause. And those things are iconic. I mean, those movies, I haven't seen them. Um have no urge to see them as well unlike for example the godfather 
that's a that's the movie that I could you know I could watch over and over even though it's older, but it's not as old as this. Uh, but it's still pretty good. You know, maybe one day I would give it a shot. But I would you know I think that the, I think the face sculpt looks pretty solid. You know, it's not a hundred percent him, but you can clearly see you know you can kind of see him there. With, with with a James Dean portrait, and it's hard to judge as well because that picture that I showed you, that's in black and white. Um, I can't really find a picture of him in color because he died, I believe, 1959 or maybe even before that. So it it's it is hard to judge, but I like the fact that you know Star Ace is willing to you know swing here with these kind of releases. So you're, they're getting out of the norm uh, with with the uh, Marilyn Monroe's because they did one as well, a statue. Uh, Audrey Hepburn, you know, they're, they're classic series here. So for those who uh, for those who are, you know, in who likes to collect these classic films and genres, there's always something for everyone, right? So I, I like the fact that they do exist, you know, especially with a horse, that he comes with his horse right here. It benefits me a lot. I love this horse, man. I, I do love this horse. I think he would fit well with anything that I'm trying to, you know, especially the characters that could use a horse. And you never know. Your favorite character might be in a horse one of these days. I highly suggest you get that horse. You know, like I said, if you might not, you know, you, you might find the two-pack, you know, because the two-pack is around $2.99. Uh, you might find that a bit on, on the higher side, which is, I think it's pretty fair to be quite honest, especially the price of the horse. But I highly recommend this horse, you know, so, you know, because I, I can understand if you have some reservations for James Dean, because if you, if you haven't seen the guy in movies, I, I totally get it, you know, so I, me, myself, I haven't seen him, but just to show you guys here, like, this is, you know, how he would look like with, uh, like, Leonidas and uh, uh, another Star Ace, although all of them were Star Ace figures, Pulp Fiction, um, you know, John Travolta, you know, pretty much in size here, even though, I know James Dean is a bit on 5'8", uh, you know, so he's a bit shorter compared to these two guys, but still looks pretty good. And this is Leonidas right here riding the horse, as you can see. Did he ride a horse in the movie? I don't remember, but I don't care. He still looks pretty good. And this Leonidas is one of my favorite figures in my collection, just because I love the movie. Yeah, and, and it was this this review is actually dedicated to a uh, little classification. Uh, 300 but there you go guys this is james dean again from the movie giant uh packaged with a horse and you can buy them individually or separately as well uh you can buy the horse by itself or james dean by himself uh there's another james dean that's coming out I, again he is wearing the red jacket more iconic i would say in in the movie rebel without a cost um i know that movie you know is pretty pretty famous so i might i might watch it man but uh, if you're interested in grabbing this figure, head over to BigBadToyStore.com. $4 shipping, no NRD. They double box your figure as well. Or go directly to Star Ace website. Again, you know, I commend Star Ace. I'm a figure fan. You know, not just a franchise fan or, you know, I'm a figure fan as well as a movie fan. So I like variations of things. You know, it might not be for everyone, but I know someone will love it. Uh, in this case... Everyone would like a horse. <laughs> I, can, I can almost guarantee you that. Uh, so take this opportunity, you know, like don't wait because I think they're they're selling out pretty fast. If they're not already sold out in Big Bad, if they are, go directly to Star Ace, like I said, 105. That's pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, again, I commend them for getting out of the norm, giving us you know, figures like Pulp Fiction, this, uh, you know, like yeah, Breakfast at Tiffany's, uh, other things as well you know kong they're the ones giving us kong planet of the apes they're not necessarily what's hot right now but something that i that's close to me i love those figures so but again thank you for watching guys if you like this video uh give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so follow me on instagram facebook and twitch and i will see you guys in the next video